Hello everyone and welcome, welcome indeed to this quick little video about a boat which I wanted to go ahead and set up for a new map. Of course now you're asking, well, what's going on? The current playthrough is not done yet and it's true, it's not done. But there was a suggestion in one of the comments of one of the videos in my current playthrough and it says this. Smiley one says, after you finished this, can you make a new series where you have a CT town for everyone who comments on your videos and then he has a uh, preference on what his would be called and what. And I was like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea, Mr. Smiley Wand, because um, I do want to create videos where you guys are involved. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I put together a series of maps and you'll find them in the description below. I have put them in a, a collection on Steam. There's a collection uh, and, it, and it's got a description. Um, and I created a voting, a straw poll vote. There's a link there and also in the description of the video there'll be a link to this collection. So you can go and look at the maps I picked. There's eight of them and vote on one which you think would be the best to use. Of course this is, uh, like it says right there, this is a city which I think should be called Subscriber City. If you have a better name you can suggest that. And Subscriber City would be uh, made up of all sorts of little towns, districts, uh, places where whoever comments and is more active on the channel gets to be picked um, to have a to you know to have one of those cities and one of those towns just like the description says there and, uh, and we'll get into more details for that uh, so the uh, that specific person who for example if um, you know smiley wand he wants his place by the water somewhere and he you know he has a name he prefers and that's fine and then I'll ask him you know when i'm building that section i'll be like hey what do you what kind of uh, buildings do you want do you want european style do you want uh, international do you want to mix do you want me to use something like the uh, i don't know finnish uh, style houses or the brooklyn theme or the uk style or whatever there's a bunch of different options on the steam workshop we're not going to go into all of that right now that will all come down uh, closer in when that happens. So what happens is this vote will be open from now until until about a week before the series is to start and then we'll have a second round of votes to follow just like this says here. Uh, for example I think I think out of the eight maybe there'll be like uh, three or four that have most of the votes and then in that second round of votes we'll take those three or four and vote between those three maps so we know which one you guys would uh, you know so you ultimately get a second vote for example if Boulder Rapids was not one you voted on before but uh, it's now in the top three you can decide to vote on it because it might look better than the other one like the you know Maybe the Mangrove Beach from Florida coast doesn't sound as good. All these maps are partly um, realistic, partly fantasy. Like we're just gonna look at a couple of. Actually, we're just gonna go through all of them a little bit. We don't want to take too much time, of course, in uh, any of these. But yeah, so here this one is called Gates of Transylvania, and the pictures roll through. He's got a real life picture. Uh, coming up next of how like this one is a real life picture of how that mountain would look and then you know This is what he created. So uh, This this would be a map where I have to go and download the textures. So uh, The snow shows up the ski resorts and all of those things will have to show up um, Otherwise, it doesn't look the same. That's that's why I'm showing the maps in in this uh, in steam versus in the game because I would have to change the uh, textures and the settings for so many of them it would, it would make it for a very uh, a very long process to create this video so like you see the author of this specific map he, w he went on and even created a bit a bit of a story with the legend and 
and why that castle was there uh, to begin with and so on and so on and um, I think that's pretty cool so uh, you go ahead and look at all of these and, and study them uh, I'm just gonna basically do a short review Border Rapids is next and I like Border Rapids for a number of reasons uh, he's using a texture called I believe it's uh, clear and bright right there and I'm, I'm actually looking at this and I might use it in my own gameplay starting with the very next episode so everything should look nicer and brighter Bor uh, Boulder Rapids has got a mix of mountain and rivers and sea as well you see how it looks here in, um, in the overview of the map so we would get a nice mix everybody could pick and choose you can pick, you know, you want to be on the river right there, I want to be on the beach, I want to be, uh, you know, the downtown area, probably right here since it's the center. All sorts of stuff like that. You, got, you guys have a lot of choices. You can be way up in the corner on the mountain in a little village or in a sort of between two hills, whatever you want. You know, you have all of those options. Okay, next, next up is Highland Fjord. Uh, this is more of the north sort of Scandinavia setting that I kind of like uh, with the big mountains and cliffs and just uh, I mean you can kind of build up on the cliffs but not really maybe put a few houses for the view and then you have the, the low areas where you can have you know uh, houses industry all sorts of stuff and, and then you know you kind of have to be really creative with with where you build because you might run out of space but there's a lot of space still I think this one shows uh, is there? Well, he has a lot of uh, like descriptions and it's pretty cool but I think I think there was one of these where it showed build a buildable areas or most likely doesn't really show here but I think this one kind of shows where the show the starting tile and where you build mostly um, so it's but it's around all the water ish and maybe some of the cliffs so I, I really like this one too he's got a lot of um, details and it's pretty cool it's pretty cool next we're gonna go to Emerald Coast which is uh, based on where does it say I think it's based on Scotland somewhere, but I just totally. Mm Right here, here is where it says it's, it's based on Ireland, a geological design inspired by Dune, Chayon, and Bailey. So yeah, uh, all that stuff. It's, he's got a lot of info. There's even a spot where you, if you put a hydro dam, uh, the water's so deep that you would get 1,600. I suppose that is 1,600 megawatts. Cool, right? Okay. Next, I also really like this map if you haven't noticed, it's, it's got a bit of everything but it's more of a highland and we wouldn't have like the beautiful beaches but that's okay, there's other ones that we can pick for that like the mangrove beach, it is based on a Florida location, palm trees, elevated highways, uh, Tampa style so it's based on Florida uh, somewhere I think it says on one of these but yes islands to um, put vacation homes on awesome beachfront properties look at all that so this one is one of the cool favorites for if we were to do a tropical location he's also got a nice description here and uh, even a link to a city that somebody built 
You can see pictures of that. Next, we're gonna look at Raven Bay. And Raven Bay is beautifully crea uh, created in a uh, European northern um, setting as well. And he's got really cool uh, roads system with the train. If you can tell there, the train is right on. See that? I'm kind of zoomed in there. He's He's got train right by... The, the highway so that's really cool this one uh, he's put in resources and trees to kind of make plots looks like it's agricultural plots so this person spent a lot of time here and there's a lot of islands and water um, the intersection that he created here is pretty pretty cool very uh, it's not like super major but it's it's pretty nicely done it's pretty nicely done I like it I think he has a different texture for the roads. Okay, uh, he has. He's also got a story and a bunch of uh, lists of mods that you would want to use to make it look like he's looking at the moment. Uh, next one is Kulabara. Kulabara, I guess I'll say that bay. And this is based on. What is it based on? Australia, Queensland, and the Broads Bay. So this is an Australia based map. Tropical, we got a mix of things. We got mountains, as you can tell there, we'll zoom into this one. We got mountains, we got flat plains, and we have the beach. Uh, could have some nice nestled little beach towns right on, you know, by the shores. He's also got a nice description. And last but not least, these are not in order of any way. Like if you see them here in order, it's not because that's how I like them. It's because that's how I added them. That's the order I added them to the collection. I tried to change this collection picture to something else because I changed my mind after I made this one and it wouldn't let me. But it's pretty cool. It, it describes, you know, hey, subscriber city map vote uh, collection and you guys can figure that out. So let's look at the last one here. This one is based on a, uh, it's a Spanish location in Galicia, so it's a, I think it says Mediterranean. He's, he's got quite a description here, even the uh, height or, or depth, that's actually depth. Islands, he's describing so many things that I don't even want to like, you know, read. <laughs> All of that to you guys right now. See, so I really, I really do want you guys to go. And let's, let's look at the pictures. So this is a, a more of a drier um, European, you know, like mid-central Mediterranean look to all of these. We do have the beaches. We have flat and mountainous terrain, and it's really sort of rocky terrain. You probably couldn't really get up there. Maybe, maybe on some of these you could get up there and build. But I think I think it's really cool. So he's got a big top um, plateau here that you can go up and build on and kind of follow these uh, ridges down with the road. So yeah, these these are the maps that I think would be fun to do our next playthrough on. And I want you guys to go and check them out, and then head over to the straw poll. That's, this is how the voting place looks. The description below has the link as well as the Steam Workshop collection and you would just select one because you can only select one and vote. Uh, I'm not going to tell you which one I prefer because I'm not, uh, you know, I guess I do have a preference maybe between three or four of them but I think they will all do really good. So. That is that. I do thank you guys for watching this. Please do comment down below uh, with comments about what you think my map selection is like and if you agree with what I picked. Also, if you don't like Subscriber City as a name for the city, you can make another uh, suggestion or you can just comment, I like Subscriber City as a name. <sighs> what else? That's about it. I do want it. I wanted to show you guys this thing again. I do want you to vote for the first round of Subscriber City. 
for our next City Cannons After Dark playthrough. I was going to put my face in instead of this guy's face here, but I, I ran out of time. I didn't have time to do that. So that's all I'm going to say. Hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.